committee and that the offer from McCarthy uh, they felt was an unserious one, uh, which led Pelosi to take, a, as she admitted, was an unprecedented move in denying a Republicans the ability to select their own members. Could they come back and say, okay, here are two people that we feel are a little more toward the middle, like a Liz Cheney, and therefore can they come sit on the committee, or is this going to be the hard and fast rule, none of them, period? Well, that, those were one, that was one of the options that was uh, sort of set up for Kevin McCarthy by Pelosi. Pelosi approved three other members McCarthy recommended, and they said she suggested going back and finding two other members. And McCarthy certainly could have done that, or they certainly could have at least sat those three members and not have recommended anybody else, given that they were already in the minority. Uh, but Republicans instead came back and said, if you won't seat two of our members, then none of us will participate, and none of us will lend... Uh, uh, our, our voice to this panel and, and give it legitimacy. They believe that this is an uh, example of why uh, the, uh, the process was, was uh, broken from the beginning, uh, and they're going to now set up their own committee. Of course, it's worth noting that McCarthy and other Republicans rejected Pelosi's initial uh, uh, request, which was an independent you know, commission modeled after the 9-11 commission that would have given Republicans equal say over subpoena power uh, and, and steps in the investigation. They voted against that in the House floor, locked it in the Senate, and, and that's what led Pelosi down the path of the select committee in the first place. You know, Liz Cheney told reporters after hearing uh, McCarthy's comments, she called them uh, disgraceful and said she agrees with Pelosi's decision to reject the two Republicans. And I just have to, like, I just have to wonder what Liz Cheney's future is. Where does she go from here in the sense of she's being pushed from the Republican Party. She's almost being welcomed in by the Democratic Party. What does she do? What's her political future like? Um, I think that's really an unsettled question. You know, there are some Republicans who are even more angry with Liz Cheney now after what she said yesterday than they were uh, three months ago, which is really something considering how, how, how angry so many of them were. She says she's still up for her primary, fighting for her political life. Uh, President, former President Trump has said he's meeting with possible opponents. Uh, to her in Wyoming and is expected to endorse one of them. So uh, in the immediate future, she's making the bet on uh, sticking to her principles and, and, and saying that she can, you know, help, help try to serve for the Republican Party from within. Of course, you know, the, the uh, history suggests that there is not room in the Republican Party for anybody who is not just uh, uh, not aligned with President Trump, but openly critical of him and, and, and some of his uh, top allies. Uh, you know, we've seen Jeff Flake and Bob Corker and others sort of exile from the Republican Party sent into early retirement. And it's hard to imagine, uh, you know, Liz Cheney defying history here. But that's, of course, what she's trying to do. It remains to be seen whether uh, she'll be successful in that. All right. Thank you so much, Ben. I appreciate your time. Thank you. See you later. That is ABC Ben Siegel. You just have to wonder, she's got to have a game plan because... She constantly pushed back against her party like this. And I'm not judging one way or the other whether it's right or not. This is specifically from a what's my future look like aspect. And you have to wonder what is her plan. Does she uh, take herself out of the Republican Party and affiliate as an independent? Could she be a moderate Democrat? Some say she already is. But I, I just wonder what her plan is for the future because... <laughs> so the majority of the Republican Party. I think very close with her. Is that fair to say? All right, let's get back to some of these stories coming out of the KFI 24-hour newsroom. The LA Homeless Services Authority says there's been a nearly 60% increase in homeless shelter space over the last three years. Lasser says there is enough room in local shelters for nearly 24,000 people, and there are nearly 34,000 permanent housing options, but... The shelter and housing options still aren't enough for all the homeless people in L.A. Last year's homeless count showed there were at least 66,000 homeless people in L.A. County. Conservative talk show host Larry Elder has won his lawsuit against California's Secretary of State. I will be included on the ballot to recall this Governor Gavin Newsom. Elder sued the state his name was left off the initial list of candidates in the recall election. The Secretary of State said he filed incomplete tax returns. Elder's lawyer, Stephen Barrett, says he ar argued his client submitted hundreds of documents, even though he didn't have to. The plain language of the statute says it applies to direct primary elections. We do not have that here. This is a recall election. The judge agreed. The recall election is September 14th. Well, First Lady Joe Biden has arrived in Japan for the Tokyo Olympics. 
This lady uh, appeared before cameras uh, with Japanese uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, Yoshida Suga and his wife before sitting down to dinner with them at the Tokyo, uh, at a palace in Tokyo. <laughs> Okay, so that is what you're going to hear every time before I do any Olympic results, okay? Now, one more time, here's, here's what you're listening for. It includes, no, not that guy, this thing. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, right? So here I go. I'm going to give you some results. The U.S. softball team chalked up its second straight win at the Olympics with a 1-0 victory over Canada. American pitcher Monica Abbott struck out nine and walked three in today's game in Tokyo. The U.S. plays Mexico next and then Australia. You go, ladies. L.A. is one of five cities in the U.S. where the Justice Department is setting up gun trafficking strike forces. Attorney General Merrick Garland says it's part of an effort to cut violent crime. He says the strike forces will target illegal trafficking that helps criminals get away the guns. City officials in Long Beach are trying to figure out to do with what to do with the Queen Mary. A one council member says keeping the ship afloat would be a good investment since it draws in more than a million visitors a year. City manager Tom Medica says they've already spent $5 million on safety repairs. It includes flood modeling to affect the ship's stability and all hazards of sunk pain, water intrusion on alarm systems, temporary build pump systems, bulkhead repairs, emergency generators, and lifeboat removal. An engineering consulting firm told the city the ship could be preserved, deconstructed, recycled, or turned into an artificial reef. They estimate any of those options would cost about a hundred million dollars. All right, when we come back, I'm looking forward to talking with this lady. Her name is Dr. Tiffany Thompson. She's the founder and CEO of Karma. Karma stands for Compassionate Animal Rescue for Medical Aid. She's also the owner of Mission Pet Hospital. Now, what's different about Karma, we talk a lot about animal rescues, the taking stray animals, and you're saying shelters that have their own medical division, right? But what about a rescue that specifically focuses on animals that have severe medical needs? They get them through that process, and then they get them onto adoption. So this group does it all. So we're going to talk with Dr. Thompson about karma coming up in just a second. Also straight ahead, it's the same for $1,000. Right now, let's take a look at your job on the five for the Atwater Village. On the north side near Colorado, it's a three-car smash with possible bigger involved as well. A bigger is off of the right shoulder, but the rest of the cars are in the left lane. That's why you're driving. Five northbound already busy as you come away from the Dotless to Los Boulevard, heading towards Colorado. That an update on this or anything that's going down your morning drive. Pound 250 on your cell phone, keyword is still uh, KFI traffic. Again, uh, pound 250 on your cell phone, keyword is KFI traffic. As you head eastbound along the uh, 105, should be down the area. Pretty heavy for you from Paramount Boulevard to make it toward Lakewood Boulevard. That's reaching earlier right the right lane shut down, clear the lanes of the Lakewood Boulevard off ramp. West on 91 and through Corona, leaving the 15th, going to be passing through the drive already as it is way past Green River. Okay, if I in the sky helps get to there faster, I'm the Collier Team. This report is sponsored by Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Do you suffer from leg foot? Do goosebumps appear for no reason? Stop living with uninspired performance. Visit mbusa.com slash AMG and find out if a Mercedes AMG coupe sedan or SUV is right for you. Mercedes AMG, driving performance. This is Dan Patrick. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network presented by Mercedes AMG. Team USA softball took care of business beating Canada Wednesday. The Olympic opening ceremony will officially kick things off tomorrow. The NHL Seattle expansion draft is in the book. The Kraken's first overall pick was Boston's Jeremy Lozon. They also selected Curtis McDermott from the team. And the Dodgers start a series against Colorado today. The Angels are visiting Minnesota. Oh, that's the with the Twins. I'm Missy Jordan. And from Blue Cross and Heart of America are helping schools across the country increase their access to healthy food. Learn more at anthem.com slash CA slash spark. Anthem Blue Cross is the trade of Blue Cross of California. I don't have to tell you, it was darn hot out there yesterday. And probably at one point you were standing outside and thought, man, I gotta go in and get some water. I hope you didn't reach for a plastic water bottle. Or if you did, you thought twice about it and thought, I've been hearing Jennifer tell me about this for years now. What if I just grabbed the glass and filled it up with filtered water from any tap in my house? That's what I'd be doing if I had a light source whole house water system. 
See, with the Life Star Soil House water system, you get clean, delicious water in every single faucet. No maintenance, no filters to replace, no tanks to exchange. So you get all the benefits, and you don't have to do anything. Life Source is going to reduce the odor and taste of chlorine without using salt or chemicals. And every time you, you take a bath or a shower, your skin and your hair, probably in the background you're going to hear, thank you, because they are going to appreciate that you are bathing in this filtered water. So have Life Source create a customized water solution for your home direct from the factory that served SoCal for over 37 years. And don't forget, everything is made in the USA, and they've got installation and support for the life of your system. And if you're looking for a great new career opportunity, Life Source is looking for you. Call Life Source today and get full service and full confidence in your water. Call them at 1-800-334-5009. That's 1-800-334-5009. Or just visit LifeSourceWater.com. Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. I can write my future. I can rewrite my story. I can create a future I look forward to. When you enroll at a California community college, you open the door to unlimited possibilities. Whether you want to transfer to a four-year university or earn an associate degree, financial aid and hundreds of career programs are here to help make it all happen. I can do this. It's time to take control of your future. Classes can fill up quickly, so enroll today at ICanGoToCollege.com. It's okay if you're wondering, is the COVID-19 vaccine safe for people like me? And when you're ready, here's your answer. It was tested by adult volunteers of different ages, races, genders, ethnicities, and health conditions. Tens of thousands of people, a group as diverse as California itself. And thanks to them, we know the vaccine is safe. Let's get you there. Let's get to immunity. Learn more at vaccinateall58.com or call 833-422-4255. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Well, it is inevitable, right? Hot Southern California summers. Not in my house. We refer to them as the brisk, chilly California summers. Well, that's because of your solar max solar panels. Yep, I can keep my house cool without worrying about where the thermostat is because with solar max, my electricity is practically free. Solar max is local. They are right here in Southern California. They do have the best products and service going. Yeah, that's going to mean excellent quality control, no middleman. Not only that, I save even more with solar max with no upfront cost. And they have the newest, most innovative Tesla products like the Tesla 420 panels and the power walls. Right now, you can get the Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month at zero down. Dial pound 250 from your cell phone. Say the keyword solar max. That's pound 250, keyword solar max, by August 31st for this great offer. Monthly payment available on approved credit. CSLB number 97204. When it comes to protecting your business from fire, Bay Alarm brings the best. Like industry-leading fire detection systems, monitor 24-7. Bay Alarm puts the pro in fire protection. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. When it comes to the tools in your garage, it's all about lithium ion. Plenty of power, maximum efficiency, and a longer life. Why would your warehouse be any different? Introducing Novalift Lithium Ion Powered Forklift. All the power and efficiency you need and essentially maintenance free. With the dramatic savings and overall cost of ownership, Novalift forklifts pay for themselves over time and that increases your bottom line. Novalift, revolutionizing the material handling industry one job at a time. What's in your warehouse? Find out more at NobleliftNA.com slash save. We're planning a trip to Spain later this year. But our Spanish is... It's pretty bad. So we're using Babbel. Babbel's conversation-based method teaches you real-life words and phrases. And with Babbel's interactive bite-sized lessons, you'll remember what you learned. There's no easier way to learn another language. Ahora hablamos español. He just said, now we speak Spanish. Babbel, language for life. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. I don't even know how to describe crimes anymore. It's all changing. So quickly. There are no crimes. Apparently, shoplifting is okay. That was the trick. They got rid of the concept of crime and then announced that crime is way down. John and Ken. There you go. Weekdays at 2. All we have left. Maybe is murder. I don't know. And that's Peter on KMI. Welcome to a Thursday. Your weekend is right around the corner. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. 
LA County Health officials have reported there were 2,551 new cases of COVID-19 in their latest update. They say yesterday's number is the biggest daily total since mid-February. And a mandatory mask order has gone into effect in Pasadena for public indoor areas. The mandate went into effect this morning. 535 will talk with ABC's Tom Rivers. Hey, if you were hoping to travel to Europe anytime soon to anywhere that is open right now, there's some major destinations that want to make sure that you can prove that you have had a COVID-19 vaccine. So I'll tell you more about that with Tom in just a second. But right now, without further ado, it's your chance to win some cash. KFI has your chance to win $1,000. Text the nationwide keyword BANK, B-A-N-K, to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's BANK to 200-200. You know the drill. If you win, you get a call from a number you don't recognize. Please answer that call. I've actually been contacted by listeners who have won and said, I did. I did what you said. I answered the call. And they won the $1,000. So be like one of them. Your next chance to win comes at 720 with Handel, who, like I said earlier, is back. That comes at 720 with him. All right. Right now, let's say good morning to Dr. Tiffany Thompson who I have been looking forward to talking to because, Tiffany, you're one of the first guests that I have ever told my producer, I don't even know if I want to read that story. And then when I read it, I thought to myself, not only am I glad I read that story, but I am so glad to know that there are people out there who are literally doing miracles on some of our animals that are getting hit by cars, that are, uh, you know, victims of abuse, that sort of thing. I just want to say thank you for what you're doing, and I'm sorry that I cringed in the first place. You didn't even know that, but you just needed to know. I completely understand, and thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So Dr. Tiffany Thompson is the founder and CEO of Karma, and Karma stands for Compassionate Animal Rescue for Medical Aid. And so everybody listening understands, Alex, our, my producer, sent me an article that was talking about the miracle that was performed on this. Uh, it was a lab mix that had been left outside in 100, you know, plus degree weather with no water for a week or so. And the people who brought it in, and, and doctor, please correct me if I'm wrong on this story, but the people that brought it in uh, basically said, like, I don't know, it, it just was dehydrated. It was like this when we got home. You guys went through, you went through um, some life-saving procedures where I think probably other shelters would have stopped. But you guys went through and did some amazing things for this dog who is now up and lovely and with a foster family now and probably just looking for its forever home. Yeah, he's doing fantastic and actually hopefully is in his forever home. His foster, we're thinking, is going to end up keeping him. Yay, a foster failure. I love it. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, he was as close to death as he could have been without, no, without actually being dead. Um, he was in critical condition, needless to say, and yeah, it took... It took a good, intensive 12 hours of care to even get him conscious again. So, Karma is uh, a group of veterinary professionals who you guys are dedicated to making sure that the people in our community, or all throughout Southern California, get the love for animals. But these animals that come to you are sometimes the animals that I would think there are some shelters that would probably turn away or think, we don't have the, re the, the resources or the funding to help this animal out, but you guys, this is why we're on this morning, we want people to donate to Karma if they can, but you guys are the place that those animals can go. Right, so I'm a veterinarian and I own an animal hospital and have owned it for over 20 years and was doing work with a lot of rescue groups and realized that the primary reason rescue groups can't take animals is funding and veterinary care is a huge part of that and I thought you know there's a niche here that I can fill I can start my own rescue and donate my own time and fill this niche of you know veterinary care that's needed and these animals are completely fixable they're just difficult and time consuming and they take the funds to do it and if I can cut those funds back and get you know these animals saved then it's a it's a huge you know, it's a huge contribution that we can make. So I got together with a bunch of my friends also in the field and we started Karma. Um, and ever since 2012 have been a 501c3 and have been doing what we do and taking in the hit by cars and with broken bones and the parvo puppies and the sick kittens and the eye issues and all of the different things that a lot of rescues are right. They just can't afford to 
to take them. They would like to, but they're a huge drain and for I, those rescues. Oh, absolutely. And I think when we walk through a rescue, we have seen these dogs then that are have already had all of those different issues. They've been hit by the car. They've been, you know, they've had parvo or whatever. When we see them in the shelters, all we see are these adorable animals that have been, uh, you know, that somebody has volunteered their time maybe to come in and groom them and whatever. We have no idea what it took to get them there. And you guys are even that step back from that where you're having to decide how do we treat them? How do we get these animals just to live before they even get to the let's go groom them and put them in one of the shelters kind of place? Right. Right. Do you, what, how do the animals come to you? Do you get calls from shelters? Do you guys... Does somebody call you directly? How does this work? A little bit of everything. Um, we do get, we do pull from most of the local kill shelters in the area so that these animals, because they definitely would be put to sleep because they just don't have, the shelters for sure don't have the resources. Um, and lots of rescues will pull from local shelters and they'll pull the cute, happy, healthy puppies, but the ones that are sick and debilitated or injured um, have a much lower chance of getting out of the shelter. Um, so, we pull them prior to euthanasia. Um, and then we get a decent amount from local emergency clinics, which is actually where the one we read about came from, was an emergency clinic. Um, and so the veterinarians in the emergency clinics know of us. So when they have a case that comes in that they're like, we could fix this, why are we putting it to sleep? And they'll talk to the owners about maybe relinquishing to a rescue instead of putting them to sleep so that the rescue can take over the responsibility. So, those, I get a bunch of those from local emergency animal hospitals as well. And it's always heartbreaking to me when you have an emergency situation, a family takes an animal to the vet, they don't have the money to maybe go through the process to get that animal the care that it needs. And sometimes it's, it's you know, almost a, I'm sorry, I don't have the money, let's just put them down kind of thing. And for me, that's not an option. I think I would eat ice and top ramen and before that would happen. Right. But other people, you know, they, they make a different decision. And that's where you guys can step in and save these animals, which is just literally, I've said miracles two or three times, but it is miraculous to me. Yeah, I mean, we, we're there, we offer that alternative. Um, there are lots of charities out there that actually help fund emergency medical care. So if people are really willing to put in the work and the legwork, they can find a way to take care of their pet most of the time. So these are the people that either don't want to spend the money or legitimately don't have the money or the time to spend funding it, but we're there as an alternative for those. You are my hero. You're not my hero of the morning. I think you're my hero of the month. Dr. Tiffany Thompson, founder and CEO of Karma Compassionate Animal Rescue for Medical Aid. How can people donate to you? Because I know there are people out there listening this morning that are like, that's what I want to get behind. Um, I mean, we have PayPal at C-A-R-M-A-O-C at Cox.net. We have a website, C-A-R-M-A-O-C dot org. Um, we have Venmo if you look it up under the full name, Compassionate Animal Rescue for Medical Aid. Thank you so much, Doctor, for what you're doing, and keep up the wonderful work. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I want to bring attention to you guys. You guys are amazing. That is Dr. Thank Tiffany you. Thompson, founder and CEO of Karma. Again, go to Karma, C-A-R-M-A-O-C dot org, and that's where you can go and you can donate and help this amazing cause because they are that first step in actually getting some of these sick and injured animals into those shelters where you go and then make them your forever friend. All right, when we come back, I want to talk with ABC's Tom Rivers. You want to go to the Eiffel Tower? You need to take more than your passport, and I'll explain. Right now, let's see what's up on your drive. It's slow in Riverside. On the westbound side of the 91, not the business for the drive, Jen. As you come away from Magnolia, going to be heavy stretches of going for you. No big shocker as you make your way to the 241 toll road. Most folks are used to that at a drive, but it's going to be a busy one this morning on the 15 northbound through Corona from Magnolia. Approaching the N91, looks like it may be a motorcycle ride blocking lanes of the connecting roadway. 15 north connector to the 91 west. So give yourself a little extra time to get out the door this morning. And if you see exactly what's slowing down the drive, pound to 15 on your cell phone keyword is KFI traffic. Still seeing a rough go over for you on the eastbound side of the 105 as you make way through the uh, downy area. Uh, coming from Paramount Boulevard, heading toward Lakewood Boulevard, even though it's an earlier wreck, cleared to the lanes of the off-ramp, 
still visible from the freeway and a little slow going for your drive. KFI and the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliocchini. Rick Edelman, award-winning radio host and founder of Edelman Financial Engines, takes questions on his radio show. Let's hear his advice on annuities. Hey, Rick, I'm looking for a good investment. Should I consider a fixed annuity? Well, fixed annuities aren't really investments. They're insurance products. You'll get a fixed rate of return from them, but it might not be enough to offset taxes and inflation. Most annuity contracts require you to keep the money there for 5 to 10 years. And if you're under age 59 and a half, any withdrawals are subject to a 10% IRS penalty. You should talk, therefore, to a fee-based financial advisor to see if an annuity is right for you, not someone who makes a living earning commissions selling annuities. You want a fiduciary who puts your best interests first. If you're looking for a trusted partner who's got your back, talk to one of our experienced financial planners by calling 888-PLAN-RICK or visit rickedelman.com. SoCal weather from KFI. It's going to be another warm one today, a lot like yesterday. So you'll see temps in the 70s at the beaches, 80s for Metro LA and OC, 90s to right around 100 again for the valleys and the IE. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Shall I compare me to a summer's day? Well, I am hot. I've got a sunny disposition and this speedo. Oh, shoot. Is this on? And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Meal deals at Moza. With a nasty fire pack of chicken, lemon grass beef, or Chinese popcorn calamari. Please, select and sell the box. Number four. You can get a golden chocolate and some milk bags. You'll earn five hundred points on the reward card. It's a 26 or 27. Three. Mark Dine Hotel. Hotel 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 Dine Hotel. Hot
But uh, yeah, as of, uh, right now, you want to go check out the Eiffel Tower in Paris. You got to bring with you some kind of certification uh, thing. You have a couple of stuff. Um, maybe a map on a smartphone, something of that nature. Uh, either that, or you have to bring some documentation that you have a negative test within the past day or two, or certification that, yeah, I had COVID, and uh, this doc said it was, what, six weeks ago, there you go. Matthew, uh, Tom can still read and read Um But, uh, you know, it's, it's what uh, we're using right now to combat this uh, third wave of the Delta variant, which seems to be going just to that area. And I think that one of the things, too, that while that sounds like you have a lot of options, like you said, the word messy also comes to mind, or confusing, or, uh, wait, what is what is valid and what is not, and different countries, yep. do they require different things? So that, I think, would, especially if you were bopping from country to country, it would be different. Yep. Like, what do I need here? What do I need in, in this area? You're right. One size does not fit all. They're having a problem here, obviously, with the U.K., you know, no longer part of the European Union. Um, and you have to get three shots from the U.K. Is that good in France? Is it maybe? Is it good in Germany? Maybe not. It, it, is, uh, it is a nice year right now. Do you guys see in Europe overall, are you seeing a decrease in tourists, if even in the, in the times when oh, yeah. the open things are not, just because he, from the pure aspect of, I don't even know if I can go or what's open, and yep. I'm not going to take that big trip to Europe until I know everything's open again. Yep, the numbers really, really are down just about everywhere. Uh, so everybody's singing uh, the same sad tune, if you will. Wow. Um, and, 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 and I can't see how it's going to pick up until finally you say, you know, you're on the back side of this pandemic now, we're kind of back to normal. Because always there's going to be yet another variant, uh, there's going to be another phase to be concerned about. Um,